when I'm planning for PD, I find it really important to know kind of what the big punchlines are in several ways. One of the ways is like, I, I want to know like for a student, what's the student thinking right now? What's the teacher in the classroom thinking with their students right now? But also I think the additional role of preparing to be a facilitator is where are the participants at this point in time? Are they in student hat? Are they in teacher hat? Um, are we thinking about where the students are or where we are as learners? And so I need to understand <laughs> at the very first, like if where are the students at this point? What are we trying to understand about student thinking and learning at this point? Um, once I can figure out where the students are, I can then kind of go up to what are the teacher's moves that they'd be making in the classroom and then what are my moves as the facilitator. So when I'm going through the uh, facilitator guides, I am frantically, you know, underlining like key things that I want to make sure I don't forget. But I also really try to make myself notes of what I what moves I need to make. And if there's something like let's say we're having a discussion about planning for a discussion, you know, like what are the key, what are the key like hinge ideas, not hinge, what are the key pieces that I want teachers to be saying or hearing from them? What am I gonna do if they're not picking up the pieces there? So it's interesting asking how I make the agenda my own because it reminds, I'm just, I don't know if this is enough to pertain, so I'm sorry, you can, you can delete if not, but I just did a virtual study group with some teachers that I worked with for Open Syed. And one of the thing, comments they made was that they love all of the guidance for them as teachers, but they feel married to their teacher guides. Cause like, what if I don't say it exactly the same way? What if the kids don't say exactly what it says in there? What if my wording is different? And that's exactly how I felt when I did my first professional development. And I probably spent five times the amount of time reading through the agenda because I was, okay, I have to get this just right. And actually the first one I did, I was way behind on time. Like I got done at the end of the day. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much to catch up on. Um, so I think one thing is just practice, you know, doing it more than once and knowing where you want to get to the group helps. Um, being um, familiar with the content, like what, like the unit that you're teaching also I think helps if you can know that ahead of time because you can kind of know where to support the teachers even if you don't say word for word what it says in the agenda. It says I'm reading through and, and then I can start to see, you know, a coherent idea forming. So then I'll backtrack and add in some critical points. So as I study and read through a number of slides, you, you start to get a bigger picture of, of what's happening in maybe a section of learning um, or in one of the investigations. And then I can backtrack and fill in critical points that I need to really punch home. Or I feel like I really need to make sure that, that participants get because there's certain things we want them to understand and, and then be able to translate it into the classroom and make sure kids get so that's what I read for as I read through a number of slides uh, or a number of pages of notes and, and try to get those bigger ideas.